Hi guys, I'm in Darwin. Uh, as you all know, I'm not really one for self-promotion, but I am on the cover of Men's Health Magazine. <laughs> um, look, I'm ripped, literally. Uh, I thought I'd do a Q&A because I've had a lot of questions over the past few weeks, and by a lot I mean six. So if you have anything related to the challenge whatsoever, which was eight weeks, then bring on your questions now. Return of the mats, good pun. Well done, guys. Oh, what's that? It's a nap. Are you looking for some category? Then why not subscribe to Worldwide Campus News and Entertainment for more topics like this one. And ring the bell to be notified for our latest video. Okay, let's get started. But first, you've got a lamp, you've got a ring light. Hi Beck. most of the questions so far are diet related and yes, it is a huge part of it. A very wise man once said, you can't out train a bad diet. This is an average day for me. I'll give you a few seconds to get a screenshot. Dum, 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 dum. <sighs> Look, I just don't think I need one, Gary. And I don't want to sound arrogant, but genetics and my parents blessed me with this look and that's why I'm on the cover of Men's Health, I guess. Yeah, that's a great question, Winnie. I guess I learned that I knew that I was stubborn, but through this process, I learned that I am annoyingly stubborn. Which brings me to what I think was my secret weapon throughout this thing. My darling Rebecca got me that for my birthday, just in time for the challenge. And it really gave me a scoreboard. It held me accountable. So Jono, my trainer, Side note, you can never not sound like a wanker when saying, my trainer, um, he's a legend. He gave me these goals for the Apple Watch. It was a lot, he said, you might not get it every day, but I'm competitive. I needed to close my rings every day. I needed to close my rings every day. I promise this is the last time I'll bore you with step count chat. I did 1,000 steps between every single sunrise cross every morning, so that's 7,000 steps before 9am. I did 8,000 steps on a flight from Sydney to Johannesburg for work. I trained in the Kruger National Park in an outdoor gym in 40 degree heat to ensure that I got my steps up. I did steps in hotel rooms at 10.30 at night, even though I had to be up at four. I was obsessed with it. Probably a low point was doing laps around the Bunnings car park to ensure I got my steps for that day. It really happened. Hi Jamie, mental health was solid before the challenge, great during, great after. It's a cliche, but moving your body, eating well, cutting down the alcohol and the sugars, it does give you clarity. That's how I define it, clarity, and it's awesome. So it made an impact, and I feel that every time you work out, even though it's hard during it, and it's hard to get motivated sometimes, after it, you have something I refer to as PWS, post-workout smugness. Say hi, Dada. Hi. We miss you. Hi, Squiggle, and congratulations. Time was my biggest challenge. Training was tough. Um, diet was difficult, particularly early on, but you power through it. Time was always the battle for me. I'm up at around 3.30 most mornings, which means I'm in bed by 8.30. I'm working two jobs, constantly traveling, the airport and driving. That just chews up hours every day and I've got a newborn baby and a partner that I want to spend time with as well. So time was constantly on my mind. I was being pulled in two different directions, which sounds more sexual than I meant it to be. Um, but I just made it work. And it comes down to how much you want it. You've got to really, really genuinely, truly want this. Um, and I'm annoyingly stubborn.
Did you enjoy this video? Let us know in the comments what you think about this. Check out these other topics from Worldwide Campus News and Entertainment, then be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for our latest video.